Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our half kneeling windmill. This video is part of a greater series of videos meant to teach you kettlebell techniques from simple to complex, starting all the way at the beginning and adding up over time to get to advanced movements. We have been working on learning the Turkish get up from the top down and from the bottom up. Bouncing back and forth between these two ideas and adding a step of complexity each video allows people to learn quickly and easily because they see the information from both sides. Today we are focusing on the top down, the middle portion of the Turkish getup. We are going to start in our half kneeling position. We are going to introduce the windmill. We are starting in our half kneeling position, 90 degree angle in the lead leg, 90 degree angle in the rear leg. We would like knee hip driven forward, shoulder all to be in one vertical line. How you pick up and put down the kettlebell is always important because that determines how safe we are. We always want to pick up and put down the kettlebell with good technique. Kettlebell starts equal with the instep of the lead leg. Arm is perfectly straight when we do a kettlebell clean to get the kettlebell to shoulder height. Thumb points down, thumb joins into the corner of the kettlebell. Pointing finger, middle finger, thumb grip the kettlebell the hardest. Push the weight back, hip drives back, drive the hip forward, catch, weight at shoulder height, elbow close to the body, forearm vertical. If your elbow is out or your wrist is bent, pull your elbow in and adjust the bell to get the handle down at a 45 degree angle. That changes slightly on what type of bell you're using, but that holds pretty constant. We are gonna add a press to get to the starting position. Press all the way to lockout and hold lockout the entire time. Let's think about our spare hand touching our bottom leg. Slide down, touch the ground. Hand comes out, put palm flat on the ground. Drive up without bending your elbow. Hip underneath us. Hand goes down, do not look at the ground. It's always in the same spot, it's underneath your knee. Drive up, elbow stays locked out. Touch down, drive up. Touch down, drive up. In the beginning, many people might find it beneficial to put their hand down in front of them instead of straight to the side so that they can add a spiral on the way up. This is still a hip exercise. Hip goes into flexion, hand touches down, both triceps are locked out, eyes turn towards the weight. If people look down, they tend to drop the weight past their face onto the ground. Focus, eyes up on the bell, turn your shoulders towards the sky. Clean and press up, touch down, drive up. Touch down, drive up, touch down, drive up. Only when you have completed all of your reps do you bend the elbow, come back to rack position, Push the hips back and set the weight down equal with the instep of the lead leg. The most important part about this is elbow lockout. If the elbow bends when you're in the top position, people tend to drop the weight. Not dropping the weight is very important. When people drop the weight, they get scared and then they don't want to continue to do the exercise. Get all of your bones in the correct position to start. Get your kettlebell in the correct grip down at a 45 degree angle lock out the elbow. As you move, keep your eyes up. Think about inhaling when your hand touches the ground. Think about exhaling as you return to a vertical spine position. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Of course, make sure that you're doing an equal number of reps on both sides. This is really a shoulder mobility exercise and a side sit up slam together. This is the version that I teach first instead of the standing version because the range of movement is smaller and you're more stable, therefore people learn this version faster. The standing version of the windmill is taught after the Turkish getup.